In the previous unit, we created flow paths. So the next geometric feature that we are going to digitize or create are cross sections. So this is a critical feature that Hecras uses in defining the geometry of a river. So before we get started, let's understand some of the rules that we are going to follow in digitizing the cross sections. So the first rule is we always start from the left side of the river looking downstream and digitize the cross section going from left to right. So this is the first rule that we are going to follow. So for the upper and lower reach looking downstream this is the left side this is the right side. For tributary looking downstream this is the left side this is the right side. So that's the first thing we are going to follow while digitizing the cross section. The second rule that we have to follow is to make sure that our cross section intersect all the lines that we have created so far. So if I'm digitizing a cross section here, it should intersect the left flow path, left bank, center line, right bank, and right flow path. The third rule we are going to follow is to make sure that no cross sections intersect with each other. And finally, we are going to make sure that our cross sections are perpendicular to the center line as much as possible. And you will realize after doing this for some time that not all cross sections can be perpendicular to the center line. And in that case, we will see how we can change the direction of some of the cross sections to make sure they don't intersect with each other. So with those rules in mind, which are also given in the handout, let's create cross sections. Now before we create cross section, the question that may come to your mind is, so how many cross sections do we want to draw? So the thumb rule is that the cross section can be at least half kilometer apart. So in that case, 500 meters so which comes to around 1600 feet so there is a major tool here in Hecras which you can use to find out what half kilometer looks like so if I draw this so this is about 1555 feet so this is the spacing that we want to use in digitizing a cross section so this is again approximate spacing. You can have higher or lower spacing depending on how detailed of a geometry you want to define. So I will use something around this to, to separate my cross sections. So let's begin. So to digitize the cross section, we will use the cross section here and right click and edit geometry. So I'll begin with my first cross section like this. So you can see I am going from left to right and I'm making sure that my cross sections intersect with all the lines that are running longitudinally. And I'm trying to make them perpendicular to the center line as much as I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So I come here. Now I don't want to go here and connect this flow path. So what I will do is I will just go like this for this cross section. So that is my upper reach. So for lower reach, I will start here. We also want to incorporate a bridge in our Hecras. So there are a couple of bridges here. So the first bridge I see here is this. The second bridge which is more prominent is this. So whenever you want to incorporate a structure, you want to make sure that you have one cross section upstream of that structure and another cross section just downstream of that structure. So I'm going to incorporate this bridge here 
and when I come to this point I will have one cross section just upstream of this and another cross section just downstream of this so let's continue so this is my bridge so I'm just going to create one more cross section here then I have another just downstream of that like this and then I'll continue with my regularly spaced cross section if you want to incorporate this bridge you can do the same but in my case I'm just going to use one just to demonstrate how to simulate or model these structures in HECRAS but still I will have one cross section upstream of this one downstream of this and that's my last cross section on Wabash now let's do typical new. so starting from left going right now as you come towards the junction you will see it becomes little bit crowded so I'm going to zoom in just to make sure that my cross sections don't intersect with each other okay and now you can see this cross section it's basically in the floodplain of both the Wabash River and the tributary so again when you get to the junction it does become a little bit complicated which is fine now if you see that in this area we don't have a lot of cross section if you want to do that so let me show you if I want to have a cross section just upstream of this so what I will do is I will start here go here and then I can just go like this and make sure I intersect this flow path here so that way I have this cross section if I want to do the same here I can start here and draw one more and that should be enough so once you are happy with your cross section go ahead and save those so right click on cross section stop editing and save edits yes and let's open the attribute table for this so as you can see all these attributes are already populated for us and this was done when we saved our edits so in case if these are not populated what you can do is before you stop editing you can run the compute tool and you can either do them individually or you can say all cross-section attributes and it will compute those attributes and then you can stop editing say yes and then you can open the attribute table okay so the key attributes here are length over the left over bank region length along the channel length over the right over bank region and left bank right bank these defines the points where the cross section intersect with the bank lines this is the distance from the left end of the cross section to the left bank and then to the right bank and so on so we will look at these attributes in more detail when we look at the geometry of each cross section later now you can see some of these cross sections don't have any attribute for left over bank right over bank and length along the channel because there is no downstream cross section for this so this is the last cross section for tributary and similarly you will see for the lower and upper reach okay so once these attributes are calculated and you see them you are done creating the geometry for HECRAS which includes the center line the bank line the flow path and cross section the other thing you want to check is while you digitize the cross section you want to make sure that you capture the entire profile and you can check the profile of a cross section by right clicking on that feature and plot terrain profile and you will see this profile here for this cross section 
let's try another one plotter in profile and you on one side of this river there is a levee so you will see this line and other side you will see the natural flood plain let's look one for the tributary and you will see a complete profile for tributary and you can see the banks are sort of matching with the profile that we have and sometimes if they don't match you can change those or edit those points in Haycrash geometry editor later so that's the profile there is also a table that will give you the stationing and elevation so stationing meaning the distance along the cross section and then there is elevation for each point and this is what you will see in the table here okay so if you are happy with the geometry that you have created and make sure that if you want to include a bridge so in this case I'm going to include this bridge here and I want to note down the stationing or identifier for that cross section which is 17044 upstream and the downstream is 15780 so I will note down these numbers and later when I want to create a bridge I will make sure that I create that bridge between these two cross sections so the stationing that you see here it will increase from downstream end as you go upstream so this is the most downstream cross section I have which has a stationing of 905 what that means is this is at a distance of 905 feet from the most downstream point on the center line and as I go up the stationing of the cross sections increases so my bridge is between 15,780 and 17,044 so if you are happy with your geometry save your map and next we are going to open this in geometric editor in Hecras. so this is it for this unit